Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Street, and I tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how you can easily create skin texture in Photoshop with just few techniques. So remember, sometimes as you're editing images, we tend to slightly go overboard, and some areas naturally within our skin don't have skin texture, as you can see in this very image right you can see some areas are lacking skin texture and sometimes you have to create that natural and realistic skin texture as you are editing or in photoshop itself so i want to show you can easily go about that and if i told this is what you have always wanted to learn simply hit the like button on this video because it's going to help youtube push and recommend this video to many people out there and it's also going to help the channel grow in the long run so just going to come and create new skin texture as you can see right here so this is the image before and after you can see that we have natural and highly realistic skin texture in this very photo so i'm just going to come and delete what we have added regarding skin texture and we learn everything from the very start so before you can create skin texture we first of all come to this layer right here and simply create a new empty layer so after creating it simply fill it with 50 percent gray so come to edit then you come to fill and simply come to contents and select 50 percent gray and you're going to simply press ok right here so after doing this i'm just going to come to the blend mode and change it from normal to overlay so after i have done this one convert this layer into a smart object or a smart layer by this i mean you won't be able to change the values regarding skin texture later on after applying them on this very image so in order to have that kind of flexibility when you're applying skin texture to your images always come and right click and you come to convert to smart object or simply come to filter and you come to convert for smart filters and when you do this you're going to notice that you have another icon displaying on this layer icon meaning it is going to be a smart layer or a smart object so after you have done that simply come to filter and we come to camera raw filter right there so when you come to camera raw filter basically it is going to open up the camera raw interface and we're going to go straight to our grain option within the camera row under effects right here so by grain we have to add that kind of digital noise to the image so in order to add digital noise simply left click and you drag until when you feel like noise has been introduced into the image so i'm just going to take it up a little bit then come to size so size is basically how prominent you want the pixels to be or the noise grain to be in the image so you're just simply going to come to the size and simply take it since our image is a little bit far so we have to use a slight around 37 then the roughness is how we want that texture to be vivid or displayed when someone is looking at the image so for the roughness basically we're going to use a slightly low roughness of around 47 i think 47 48 is okay and after that simply click ok but remember we turn this into a smart filter so if at all we want to change that value later on simply double click on the camera raw filter and you can simply change the values after applying them so after looking at the image for, for example from a distance you can always come and you change the values so after you have done this the next thing you're going to do you are simply going to come to filter and you are going to emboss so you can see that the noise is a little bit too much for our liking so after we're just going to come to filter and you're going to come to stylize right here and simply come to emboss so when you come to emboss we have to choose the direction from which the light was coming for this very image so that when we create the skin texture and embed it over the image it has to follow the direction of the light so that the patterns within the skin texture can match with the already existing skin textures so that it can merge and look really 
as realistic as possible. So when you come to emboss, basically we have angle. So basically under angle, you have to move this pointer in the direction where your light was coming from. So if at all you look at my image, we have a darker area on the right hand side, right here as I'm moving this, and this area is brighter, meaning the light was coming from the left top right top left corner. So the upper top left corner, that is where the light was coming from. So you have to move this pointer up to uh, that area where the light was coming from. So make sure that, that pointer is pointing or facing in the area of where the light was coming from as you're taking the image. So when you ensure that, it means that the texture is also going to be matching with the already existing texture within the photo. So you always have to make sure the height is taken all the way down. So when the height is taken all the way down, you simply first of all come to amount and you choose the amount of emboss that you want to add to the image. Then after you simply come to height. So basically what height is going to do, depending on how close or how far you are, it is going to basically spread the pixels depending on how close the image is going to be and it is going to add more information regarding the textures. So since this image is from a distance, we wouldn't want the pixels or the textures to be as vivid. So just want them to be close enough because this image was at a distance and we wouldn't want to over add that texture. So you're just going to be using a very low height for such an image of around two. So two looks are really realistic. You can see if at all we zoom in, two looks realistic than the other values. So if at all you feel like the amount is too much, you can come and simply reduce on the amount. So this looks natural and realistic. And after that, simply come and hit OK. So if at all you feel like you want to change these values later on, you look for the emboss, double click on it, and it's going to open up the emboss option so that you can alter or change the emboss values in the photo. So after doing that, you're simply going to come back because this has added the noise or the grain is too much. So just want to slightly make it disappear by simply smoothening it out a little bit. So we're going to come to filter and come to blur and come to Gaussian blur right here. So under Gaussian blur, you can take it all the way to 0 0.1 and slightly start taking it up while looking at the image up to a point when the textures are looking a little bit real or realistic. So now around 0 0.4 is when the textures in this image are looking better and a little bit more on the realistic side. So you can come and simply hit OK. So you can see that now the image has the texture that we want, but it is affecting the overall image, including the background. So just basically want to make sure it is affecting or we paint in the textures in the areas where it was missing initially before. So you can see that the smart filter always comes with a white layer mask, meaning the smart objects or adjustments that we did are appearing or they are very visible because they are displayed on the white layer masks. So remember in Photoshop, white is going to reveal and black is going to hide. So we want to hide the effect from affecting the overall image. So using a white brush, you can simply mask in or paint the textures in the areas of the skin that we want. So simply click on the white layer mask and press Ctrl I, or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect, which is going to hide the textures from the image. And you're going to come to the brushes, right click and get the brush tool, and make sure the hardness is set all the way to 0%. The mode is normal, or percent the flat 100%. Make sure that you have black and white on these two boxes or swatches, or you can switch between black and red by using X on the keyboard. So in order to have black and white, simply left click on these two tiny boxes. And after doing that, make sure white is on top. So using a white brush, we want to reveal what was hidden behind the black mask, which is our texture. So we can increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. And we're simply going to paint back the texture or paint in the textures where 
we want them so just going to basically paint skin texture in those areas and you can see this makes the textures look better and highly realistic so i'm just going to paint in those textures in those areas basically so you can see that the textures are now looking better natural and very realistic so just come and make sure you paint so you don't want to add textures on the eyes or even the lips of the model so you have to be careful with that just come and paint in textures if at all you wanted to paint them in those areas so you don't want to add textures in the hair so only paint only on the skin and when you're done doing this the next thing is going to be playing around with the opacity slider so sometimes we tend to overdo stuff when it comes to editing in photoshop so in order to eliminate or if i told you have over added textures we're simply going to come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity so at around 91 or 94 so this is the before after before after so this is how you can create highly realistic skin texture in your images in photoshop and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from Moist photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating